Right, ladies and gents, uh, it's, uh, oh, it's, uh, it's just gone half nine now. We are here in Spooky Woods. And look, already. And this is the second time he's done that. See what I mean there, Dave? He's doing it again, look. Yeah. And you know him in the wood, he has two speeds, 100 mile an hour, and then sleep. Papa, what's that? Go get it, mate, go get it. Uh, yeah, Spooky Woods. Uh, obviously. Ms. Tightwood says, uh, as long as you take the dog, uh, I'll drop you off. <laughs> and he's sporting his new um, little field collar now. I don't like the Julius K9, but that lights like well illuminates in the dark when you shine a torch on it. Um, so that's staying on there. Yeah, it's just a little, and Booty's got one in there, camouflage. Um, so, we're here in the old um, woods, and the uh, good news is, it's not been touched. That's just that little bit of building I did last time. A little bit of uh, ramshackle put together. Just to see if anything had been uh, mucked about with. But yeah. Again, we can hear the noise a bit more. I suppose that's because we're losing, it, losing the leaf foliage. But there's my little seat. There's a few bit. There's a new uh, haversack, shoulder bag, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we're just uh, getting a bra on at the moment. And there's David in his kit. Just want to say a quick thank you. Really appreciate that to... Uh, Alan King still see mate because the uh, the black hawk pouch he give us brilliant, one it? brilliant yeah cheers for that mate yeah. I knew exactly where it was going to go. go and there it is it's on yeah. here pitch perfect with the speed molly thing yeah, it is mate they yeah. work really well first time I've used them yeah but it's uh, mine's going like literally on the top of my Bergen for a first aid kit you know like my my pack Bergen no, go on there, lovely. Lovely, wouldn't it, yeah. yeah, no, cheers, so, Alan, mate. yeah no, really I appreciate that, mate. And as you say, I'll make bits and bobs, mate. If you see some um, I'd be like miffed, slightly offended. Um, if you didn't think you could say, oh, Mac, I like the idea of that, or can you do this, or can you do that, because you know I can, mate, yeah. So I really appreciate that, mate. Thanks a lot. And again, uh, that may be a film today. Um, about a new little uh, have a sack, rack sack. And uh, something I got off the old. Uh, Camp Shaky there, uh, a five litre water carrier, 50p. We have worked out, and needs a little rubber ring seal on it, probably why it was so cheap. Um, but I'll give that a scrub out and sterilise, um, and that's a really cracking little bit of kit. Mr. Upper, Mr. Upper, wait, Arrow. But yeah, um, first order of all, all business is uh, get a brew on and uh, get a cup of tea. Take care. Nata. Be careful, Mr. Arthur. The old knife's still going strong there, Keith. Need something a little bit more for that. Right, ladies and gents, I was asked on the, one of my last films uh, about the small little hatchet. Um, go on up, away. It's uh, a Fiskars X10, I think. Uh, really getting to like the Fiskars company. Uh, it's a small little hatchet. All I've got is a piece of rubber tubing down that. Make sure it's an X10. Sorry, that's an X5, yeah. Fiskars X5. Small little hatchet, didn't pay a great deal of money for it. 
Um, I don't know the Grants Fours and some of the other names, but uh, again, we'll, uh, they're brilliant little um, axes and hatchets they do, but they cost a lot of money. But uh, yeah, I've got that for uh, quite cheap money. A um, little bit of haggling at the boot, set, the boot fair, a little story behind that one. Um, and I'm loving that, it's kind of always with me, and it's just the right weight that I won't take it out of my pack if that makes sense. Um, and another little um, saw, um, yeah, again got quite cheaply, so we're talking the common man touch here, we all haven't, I certainly haven't, got loads and loads of money to pay for the silky saws. But uh, again, Friscars, that's a SW75, somebody asked me about that. Uh, I have a particular love for the Laplander because I've always had it, even in military service, never let me down. But uh, so it's going to hard to knock that off the spot. I like the orange bits on there, so when they're on the floor, you can actually see where they are, which is a good thing. Don't have to be so tactical no more. Yeah, but for what I pay for this blade and the extra length it gives me, um, really, really impressed with this. If it was going to break, I've used it on s numerous occasions while out, um, cutting some, you know, quite decent diameter. Um, pieces of uh, wood and timber and yeah it's here it's still going strong not showing any signs whatsoever of flaking and uh, you know it's not really what to say but I just think this is a poor man's silky and for that thin blade which cuts through wood um, that's a really nice piece of steel so it's the older Fiskars uh, company there um, very much impressing me at the moment and all I'm doing here is just gonna be two horizontal poles I'm ready. We didn't have time to do none of this last time. And that is a proper knot that is. Oop. Yeah, it's right out of the way. What I intend to do today is just a bit more building here. Yeah? Oh, that was some good build up there. Got half a back. still doing that indicating thing. Nice, so I guess the business done. Poor man silky saw. Alright ladies and gents, uh I've worked out that the uh, my angles have got to come out this way a little bit more. May not have time to do that today. Just want to see what this looks like. Um, that's my old tarpy bed, um, ground sheet, uh, hammock, and you've all seen me use that. Just uh, this is the first time you see it on a proper A-frame. That's going to be moved around more central. But yeah, see what I mean. Just stuck like a quick bungee up there. I always carry longer bungees. Uh, just going to set up in the old tarp configuration and look if you think that was me mucking about the first time look and it's not the road that boy's traffic trained he goes to a, a road he just sits down and waits for me but yeah it was so weird Mr. Harper Mr. Harper Ara what's that if there's a ghost go and kill him and we'll cook him up for our supper go on go get him anyway yeah just going to get on with this And while we're doing that, Davey's doing some background activity. What are you making there, mate? Um, making a Christmas uh, Ooh. wreath. Ooh, we have to censor that word, don't we? Oh, Christmas. <laughs> Ooh, said said again. Ooh. <laughs> That's like a swear box, that is. Now, you make one of them holly wreaths, mate, yeah? Yeah, yeah don't I'm just let... using what I've got. I've got a holly at home, but I'm just going to nick what I've got. And this, these are quite nice. Yeah. 
give it a little. It's all bushcrafty, mate, isn't it? Yeah. Saving a few bob as well, isn't it? Yeah. And they're better when you make them yourself, aren't they? Oh, it's yeah, really yeah. nice, isn't it? Yeah, no, nice one. Other than that, we're just having a little play about with things. Uh, yeah, uh, my pet type I've had for a while. And I'm sling that up today. There's a Mr. Harper's little feeding station there. You had your trough, haven't you? Eats better than I do, doesn't he? All that yeah, does, chicken yeah. and that, yeah. Trends Bless him. <laughs> nah, he's a good old boy. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to crack on with this. Time's getting on, you know. Right, ladies and gents. Um, you see Mr. Harper. And uh, there's Jay for him, as you see. Them poles just need to come down at more of an angle, so that's why I'm just not sitting in there. Because, uh, but just proof proof of concept. Um, there's the the triangle things, and when that's pressed down, that will become taunt. Okay, it's got a little bit of elastic at the top there, just to stop it pulling. And uh, I've had this like uh, Digicam, not Digicam, um, Marpat. Uh, it's not Marpat. What's it called, mate? Uh, what, the MTP? Yeah, the MTP. Yes, yeah, it's my old brain there. Uh, kind of fits in quite well, I must admit, with the old, yeah, um, woodland as you see now. Doesn't make it stand out too far, but yeah, just a little proof of concept. And as you can see, once your body weight's on there, that will pull that taunt. And again, it's, it's got a small bit of uh, elastic at the top that will just give it uh, some give. Um, but there, that is the, that is the idea that I had. There's the bed roll. There's the sides that will stop 90% of the stuff coming in. Like I say, that will become taunt if you was to sit on that. Um, probably ain't going to get a lot of time today. Uh, I would like to get them angled out a bit more. But that's the concept, and I've just done a little tie off with a bit of like army string, uh, just to see what it all looks like. And I tell you what, ladies and gents, I'm going to be honest there. I think you can have quite a nice, comfortable night in there. Um, with no dangers whatsoever. So I've got to sort that gap, gap out. But that's just a little proof of uh, concept there. Yeah, sorry about the oddball string. That's all going to be replaced now. Uh, next time I come down, it's going to be like a mega building session. Uh, use proper paracord and just leave it here because uh, it seems okay. That's a, it's a black top just on the floor for the moment. And David making his reef very Christmassy. Yeah, not gonna have a lot of time today because I want to get a couple of things on film and play with this little monkey here. Arrah. <laughs> oh, but we're just happy. Right, yeah. Anyway, ladies and gents, before I uh, go on too much, yeah, that's it. And obviously, once your your weights uh, on that there that will pull down and become sort of taunt and come and fill that gap more like I say it's not meant to be absolutely perfect because you'll never get it perfect but certainly uh, works keep the rain off you and I'd happily sleep under there for the night and I think with the old uh, sides that I've put on it just increases uh, yeah coverage protection whatever you want to call it so anyway, ladies and gents, a couple of things I want to do, and then I'll bring you back. All right, ladies and gents, all I've done is uh, took the uh, tarp over and just flapped it over the side. Yeah, I don't know why, it's the, the multi cam strangely appealing to me in this sort of environment. Uh, but that's how you see the, the bed, how it's meant to go. And obviously, as you push down on this, that then sort of um, comes more, becomes more taunt. And uh, there it is on the other side. Like I say, I've got to sort out that little little distance there. Um, but yeah, just put it up for the moment, just proof of concept. But yeah, I'd be happy in there, and uh, what I'm going to call me, uh, me bingo rings. Would work there. Yeah, so uh, quite happy with that, like I say. Um, has a number of uses as well. You could actually use that as a stretcher, and you can see how I mean by stretcher and that, if you needed to have somebody out for a while. Um, and... Uh, I like to take it out because it's still in there. Power cord run through that loop there and through there. And you've got yourself a, a makeshift. Well, it's a hammock. It ain't makeshift, it's a hammock. So, a uh, multi use piece of kit and uh, very, very light. It doesn't take up a great deal of space, so worth having. That with a tarp, and uh, you've just got many, many options. Obviously, that could still be a tarp on, and this, see, pegged out there, there, the four places on the ground, and uh, that's 
the sides, sort of me bingo rings for want of a better description, can just go up to your um, your uh, your tarp line, which will be at the top there. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that now. Brief of concepts and uh, well, the first time we got to spend the night in it, obviously. But you know, there's not much that can go wrong. I don't know. I can. Uh, that's past the Mac tight wood hump test. <laughs> Look at him. He's still doing that indicating thing. And even David thinks it's a bit weird. But yeah, just having a quick bit of a brew on there. There's my little five gallon water container. Might need a little bit of a rubber seal in there, uh, but I can soon get that sorted out. Quite happy to get that 450p for that uh, um, camp shaky. Here comes Davey, he's been doing a bit of foraging for some stuff. He's making some at Christmassy, so I'm not going to be talking about that too much. Sit, sit, sit. <laughs> Let's try up the once he's stick. <laughs> he's going to bash his teeth, he runs between the trees and he, he can't judge the distance. <laughs> Arrah! Is that your stuffy stick, Harper? <laughs> He's going to put a stuffy trot on that. He's only got one big tooth at the... You know what I mean? He's mad, isn't he? He's probably like me. That's why we get on so well. Bless him. Take care. Right, ladies, uh, gentlemen. Hot off the press. So hot the uh, cotton is still smoking. Uh, yesterday, I was looking about for a bit of kit. Uh, I wanted to find something for Dave. And I come across something I bought off a boot fair. Cut the quid. Um, it's just, uh, you know... It, a wrap for an antenna, uh, military, giving back two quid for it. Um, just wanted the material. Uh, when you're a tight wad like me, you know, somebody see a busted tent, I just see about 10 metres of material. However, um, last night saw that, got infused, and just sat there till gone 12 o'clock at night, um, making myself a backpack. Now, this is number two, everything's a learning process. Now, this isn't what I would more call a haversack. Um, it's 12 inches tall. 12 inches across, 6 inches deep, and uh, I've not put nothing on the outside, none of the little clippies as yet, I can do if I want to, there is one thing that's going to, and I just couldn't find it last night, even though I had it in my hands a moment before, uh, a Great Britain, I'm going to put a Union Jack there, um, but as we've always, um, we're talking about Rob McKenzie, because it was green and green, I've gone with, with that Rob, you know, the full 50mm um, webbing, uh, again there's a 25 and that, uh, and a buckle, anything you have having something around your neck at any time, you trip, fall or whatever, quick release strap, I'm not going to do that because I've got that full of kit just to pad it out in a the moment. There's one thing this will need, and I'm going to bring you in closer um, for a little look at this anyway. Um, I started to do a how-to on it, I've done a few bits, if anybody wants me to do a how-to, how I made this, then I'm more than happy to do that, you know, drop a comment in there or PM me as most of you do, and I'll do that. Um, but it was almost exactly the same formula as I did with the brown one. Um, and again, like Tim saw that and he wanted a simpler one. Uh, and uh, that's what I've done for that lad. And uh, this one's just a lot deeper uh, and not as wide. Uh, and as I say, David said, you know, I've just got a it's like a little TARDIS, that is. But yeah, so at the moment, that's cost me four quid and I'm taking in two quid for the material I'm going to get loads of bits out I'm just going to see how much I can make out of that material you know like maybe 50 pence for the buckles and you know the webbing so about four quid so far and what I have done it I'll, I'll always do it because it doesn't hurt um, may put a little axe loop on it but I don't walk about in public with my axe anyway just on the back there is a uh, you know like the vertical straps on your Bergen so I can attach that to the back of my Bergen if I needed to do so no reason not to do that these pieces of squares come out a bit that I um cut off the corners to make that square but there we go I had a mad fit yesterday I just needed to get something done and that was it you know uh, inspiration takes you at times but I'll just show you um, uh, what's inside that ladies and gents but um, yeah uh, not totally finished yet um, but again you bring it out I mean I've had five litres of water in that that big white uh, um, water can I got in that so put a bit of weight in it see what it's like and uh, 
have a little play about it and then go back and just modify it but anyway I'm going to bring you back because I'll just show you what's inside that and uh, how the inside is set out take care Well, ladies and gentlemen, just a quick uh, close up onto it, like I said. D ring, so too, webbing, and a, uh, if needed, quick release strap. But um, I did it initially because I wanted a. Uh, turn that around, make sure I see. Give me a shot. A uh, carrier for that, so it's not hard to size your gear up. That fits perfectly in there, it's had 5 litres and uh, I've walked over here with it today, again not walked too far but if any of the stitching is going to go or something's going to go, I've got Mr. Harper here, um, then it will perform two purposes then, um, literally a carrier for that and a uh, and have a sack in itself, again fast X clips and uh, just so you can see the inside of it, look down a little bit, here we go, I've just thrown some stuff from my Bergen in, there's my seat, load of ration packs, uh, cleaning kit, cameras, just some stuff in there, and the strings, very important, my brew kit, <laughs> there's no biscuits in there Mr Arthur, and uh, again just so you can see how deep it is, that's the uh, Swedish, sorry Swiss army, cook set that I'm sort of really getting into at the moment and that fits in there perfect so I'll have that out of there and uh, just quickly show you inside I think too flash or fancy in there along the front it's got a nice deep pocket can you see me how I put that in on the other one down the sides jack law um, whatever knife you're using so it's not causing an alarm harassment and distress and you can see that there uh, or uh, a Laplander will go in there and again a longer one at the back um, what I will do is just slip some cheap roll mat away, uh, and slip it in there and then obviously cover it with a bit of material so I could, it would just be a sit, a sit pad for me and can come out where necessary um, and that's it I've just kept it very, ever so simple inside uh, just keep it simple keep it stupid and it'll work um, and that's it ladies and gents as I said like cut the three four quid at the moment but, you know it's literally costing nothing because uh, this material has come very cheap but uh, anyway, um, should have had me top done up on that. I'm uh, very much loving my little pack at the moment, and uh, you think that's alright as well, Dave, don't you? Oh, uh, yeah, it's a nice size. Actually. Yeah, I say six inches, 12 by 12 by 12. Yeah, that's nice, nice size, light material as well. Yeah. It's quite waterproof, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's very well, waterproof. Very well consistent yeah, anyway. Because it's, uh, that thing's just leaking a little bit, and then it down up. But yeah, um, nothing flash, nothing fancy, just... Uh, have a say. I thought about putting a few patches on the side, but hey, just make it a bit bigger, keep it all inside, keep it nice, tight, and tidy. But yeah, ladies and gents, and again, uh, somebody wants to know how I made it. I may be making uh, one more for somebody, I can do it. But literally, um, if you watch my channel for a bit, I've not made that in any different way um, than uh, I did the first brown one and the second brown one. So, on that, um, yeah, take care, ladies and gents. As I say, it can be. Uh, attached sorry, to my Bergen if needed as a haversack and when needed to uh, better hump something like that around which is 5 litres of water and I've done the top up now so ladies and gents take care so yeah, ladies and gents had a quick brew on the old Alp kit I'm going to have an early tea when I get in I'll have some cookies and uh, David's cooking up his uh, oh, curry and rice there Got a nice little bit of kit, the rucksack he's got there, it's just uh, the one just off the left hand side. Uh, is a uh, Swedish bread bag, got that for a steal off uh, eBay. Watch right in one of his videos, but it's a nice little bit of kit. Right, ladies and gents, uh, that time comes when the old uh, sun gets low in the sky. And uh, But what I've done while I've been off cam, just never sort of uh, made myself a uh, chair yeah it is a chair there you can actually see it there that's crack a bit of camouflage i made a tarp out of that and i had a, a bit left over so that's a, a new tarpy seat a bushcraft seat i say start knocking down now but that's just proof of concept next time i come over i'll start sorting all the, the bars out so there's a quick width and stuff like that last time that was a quick knock up just to get it done just to see if anybody was uh, going to come back and here we have the big fella <laughs> and the hoofer <laughs> right. 
You alright, Mr. Wapper? What's that? Go get him. It's a rabbit. It's a rabbit. And uh, just had a little brew on your little stove there, mate, in there. Yeah. Nice little wood stove that was, wasn't it? Yeah. And uh, we what? We always go with fire sometimes, if you come out and we've got fires. Just um, light fire. There's a little, all my batteries hanging in there. A little chat about your um, Polish bread bag, mate, because that's quite a lot, right? I think a lot of the lads will really like a bit of tradition. What, the, the bag does? Yeah. Yeah. So it wasn't Polish, was it? Swedish. It Swedish. Swedish. So anybody from Sweden? Yeah, but, so yeah. you just... Uh, And that goes over. That's quite an unusual design there, mate. That'd make that quite weatherproof as well, wouldn't it? Yeah. And then, I should just hook it up. Well, old star. I'll show you this little quick there. Up my back. It's got a nice leather and shoulder strap on it, mate, yeah. yeah. It's looking quite... And, um, obviously, I know you're... Uh, 